So, a biostimulant is a substance, any microorganism or a combination of both of these that are applied to plants, seeds or rhizophores. Biostimulants have the primary function of stimulating physiological process in plants and enhancing their uptake of nutrients, growth, yield, nutritional efficiency and crop yield. The agricultural sector is facing huge challenge when it comes to increasing the productivity from the fields to feed the growing global population. Hello and welcome to Enter Climate. My name is Shalin Verma and let's start this video and understand the registration process for these biostimulants. The Agricultural Ministry in June 2023 issued a draft guidelines for registration process for biostimulants as per the FCO amendment order under Schedule 6 of the Fertilizer Control Amendment Order 2021. It will now be mandatory for person who wants to manufacture or import any biostimulant to give some specific details now as we know that biostimulants act as a concomitant and increases the resource use efficiency while reducing the environmental impact on ecosystems and human health. Pesticides or plant growth are regulated under the Insecticides Act of 1968. They are not included in the definition of biostimulants. So what are the categories in which biostimulants are placed? These categories include botanical extracts including the extracts derived from seaweeds, biochemicals, protein hydrolysates and amino acids, vitamins, cells free microbial products, antioxidants, antitranspirants, humic and fulvic acids and their derivatives. Let's now understand the registration process for manufacturing or importing biostimulants in India. So, any individual who wishes to manufacture or import biostimulant must apply in Form R, giving the details related to the product in the application that should include the source, the chemical composition, physical and chemical properties, methods of analysis, and the self-life claim. So, the first step is the provisional registration. In this stage, the following will be required. Preparation of the product sales document, submission of Form G2 application to the State Department of Agriculture, submission of G1 format application to the controller of fertilizer in New Delhi for each of the specific product, receipt of the product-wise provisional registration in G3 format from the controller of fertilizer, now coming to the documents that will be needed with this application. These will include a duly signed and complete application for G2 in the specified format as per the amendment made to the fertilizer control order dated 23 February 2021. Self-attested sales report for the past three years, GST data for the past three years and records of stock production and trade of the product for the last three years all of which have to be duly certified by a chartered accountant. A notarized self-declaration stating that there are no reports of any adverse or hazardous effects in internationally recognized publications or globally accepted test reports supporting the absence of any hazardous effects. Copy of the Certificate of Incorporation or Company Registration, the technical details of the product, product's label, product's sale documents for the past three years, the draft of Form G3, which is the Certificate of Provisional Registration. Now, the provisional registration is valid for a specified period and products not registered within that time frame are not permitted to be used after a certain date. Now, for the permanent registration, chemistry studies through laboratories and agronomic bioefficacy studies must be conducted by recognized institutes. The reports from these studies and the application in Form G are submitted to the controller of fertilizer. The registration process also involves engaging the NABL or GLP certified labs for various services and coordinating with the state agricultural universities or ICAR institutes for agronomic trials. All these legal formalities can be handled if you choose the right licensing experts. Contact our interclimate experts from the details shown to get your product registered. So that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching.